what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here in this video we're going to be talking about the possibility of us getting for the first time ever three opening kills in scream 5 and also the potential chance of us getting a not one but two not one or two but three killers three ghost face killers so not only are we going to have multiple opening kills I want these multi I want these kills to be at two different locations and they're also going to have three different killers in screen 5. I'm willing to bet uh, that this is what we're possibly going to get to. At least these two possibilities I want to discuss here today in this video. Now, the reason I want to discuss the possibility of us getting three killers, this was brought on to me about how ridiculous i thought it was that there was only one killer in scream 3 and if i'm being quite honest scream 3 is my favorite out of the bunch it's not the best it is in fact the weakest scream 3 is my favorite simply because that is the one that i grew up watching the most growing up that in the first film uh at the same time scream 3 is the weakest it the fact that there's only one killer in scream 3 still to this day is mind-boggling to me because there was going to be two but they decided to go with one and, and on top of that, Scream 3 was actually going to be the first Scream film where we got, I believe, a plethora of killers. Because the original intent, as we all know, involves Stu coming back. Uh, but let's get into some of the things that I want to see happen in Scream 5 if we do go the route of the triple kill opening. Uh, okay, so getting out the way who the, who the opening kills are going to be. My ideas include the opening kills being Kirby Reed's parents. So, because again, as we know, the synopsis, the brief tidbits we know about Scream 5 is that a young woman returns to her hometown to investigate a vicious, uh, to investigate a, a series of vicious crimes. Now, I'm willing to bet that that young woman is going to be Kirby. And the reason I'm thinking it's going to be Kirby is because of the fact uh, that I'm just on board with Kirby being our main character in Scream 5. That's literally it. We have nothing really suggesting that. It could be Kirby. It could be Sydney. It could be a whole entirely brand new character where we just have uh, representatives and residents from Woodsboro going to that area because, of course, being from Woodsboro and someone using the ghost face shtick, they're going to come to that town to help out this, this, this town and these uh, individuals being played by a ghost face killer. Um... But in my Scream 5, I want one of the opening kills to be Kirby's parents. If she is indeed going to be the woman coming back to her hometown, Woodsboro, her open, I want the opening kill to be her parents. And the reason why I want it to be a set of parents is because I think that would be something very different for the Scream franchise, something a little bit more dark. Uh, we know that uh, Casey, Be Casey Becker's parents, and, the, and also the reason why I think that would be cool is because it's a nod, a little slight nod to the opening of the first film. In the first film, parents come home to find their daughter dead. In this one, a daughter's going to return home to town to find her parents dead. It's a reverse. Instead of Casey, instead of uh, the parents finding Casey, Casey's going to find her parents. In this case, Kirby is our Casey. Uh, so I, I think it would be very different, very dark. Uh, something, honestly, that could probably be an iconic opening if they do it the right way have a set of parents get killed in the opening ghostface taunting kirby's parents all the while maybe even kirby gets to witness some of these some of their demises or both of their demises via like a live scap 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 skype feed or some type of video chat that ghostface might call her on and she just joins in and ghostface is basically calling her and he's like hey i'm killing your parents that, that type of deal <laughs> Uh, and then another person that unfortunately I'm going to be putting on this list is Gail Weathers. The character of Gail Weathers, in my opinion, she's one of my honest, uh, honest high choices I would put up as one of the killers, potential killers in Screen 5. There's a way you could easily make up a, a story about Gail Weathers being Ghostface, uh, or her being one of the killers. But in another scenario of mine, Gail Weathers is going to be our opening kill. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know what the relationship is really with Courtney Cox and David Arquette, but if the relationship they have is on good terms, even then maybe she's got a hectic schedule. So maybe if she isn't, because we haven't heard anything about her being on board really with the project yet. We haven't heard anything about anyone other than uh, David Arquette, of course, but teach their own. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping Courtney Cox and Nev Campbell, of course, return. I'm expecting they will. But Courtney Cox, I believe, might be a minor minor role. That's just what I'm getting. Uh, and honestly, what I see happening, because uh, if I'm not mistaken, at one point, 
she was considered for an opening kill in Scream 4. Those are just some rumors and rumblings going around at the time uh, after Scream 4 came out and prior to that because of how uh, they had to make some exceptions or create some type of different type of uh, work environment to accommodate the fact that her and David Arquette were going through a divorce at the time. So the reason I want to see Gail in an opening kill is because I think that would be very very um and and to make it even more juicier i i just think it would be a lot more gut-wrenching for us to finally see one of our main three get the get the knife handed to them by ghostface and fall victim to ghostface uh and to make things even more depressing and more heartbreaking for the audience gail weathers over the last couple of years since screen four has revitalized her career her and sydney are now about to publish books uh, Sydney's second novel, Gail's working on her first novel since the Woodsboro Murders book she wrote. And here's where the here's where the dilemma is going to come. At the rise and at, like the night, this is going to be happening on the night before she puts out her book. She's going to get killed by Ghostface. So for whatever reason, maybe that book has something to do with our our killers in the film, and that's why Ghostface. Uh, kills Gail Weathers. Maybe she, he didn't want that book to get published. Who knows? Uh, but at the same time, again, I just want Gail Weathers. I think she would be an, an awesome op opening kill just to kind of be something to throw the audience off, shock the audience. Uh, the two different locations, of course, and how they would do this, that's going to be something up to them. They can get creative with this in a variety of different ways. Uh, swapping back and forth, showing us Kirby's parents handling the ghost face. Uh, showing uh gail weathers handling the ghost face dewey of course would not be present because he's out trying to do his duties as a sheriff if dewey even is a sheriff still in this film uh, and then who i think would be the ideal options for some ghost faces here i don't i don't really have too many other than the fact that i would like to see if they're able to create a a, a good story where judy hicks is ghost face where uh, she has a partner in Stu Mocker's brother. If you've seen my Judy Hicks connection to Sydney Theory video, you know what I'm talking about. But let's get into the idea of us having three killers. If we have three killers, this would be the very first time in the Scream franchise where we've had three killers. Um, I think that would be a very uh, epic thing to have. I think it could work out very well. It would also give us an opportunity to have a lot of shots where Ghostface is appearing in multiple places at once when we know he's not doing that. Unlike Scream 3, Roman literally is appearing in multiple places at once it felt like, but then he's doing this all by himself. That's what bothered me the most about Scream 3. There's only one killer, but that one person is appearing in places in the man, in the span of five seconds after you just saw him downstairs or you just saw him in one room. Now he's over here. Now he's over there. So if you have three killers and you actually stick to that and you actually plan on revealing multiple killers, I think that would be a great thing for the film so we can have some more mind tricks to kind of being played with with our victims. And maybe at the end, we don't find maybe in the beginning, maybe even in the beginning, we already have confirmed to us that there are three killers. We know from the start that there are three killers, three killers, because in the other movies, we don't find out that there is a duo or that there's one killer or how many until the very end of the uh very end of the film when Ghostface reveals himself to Sydney. In this film, Scream 5, we're going to find out that there's three killers in the very opening. And we're going to be knowing that this time around, we're looking for three different killers. We're already going to know that off the bat. In the previous films, they're looking for one or two Ghostface killers without knowing it. In this one, I want us to know that. I want that to be revealed up front that there are three different people who are out here doing it this time. I think that would be uh, another turn of events that would be a first time ever because we already know how many ghost faces we're dealing with. Maybe it might take away that element of surprise for a lot of you, but at this point in the game, I, I believe we all kind of expect there to be multiple ghost face killers at this point because every screen movie outside of the third film, there's been multiple, but there's never been a film where there's been three. So the fact that we could potentially have three ghost face killers, I think that would be an amazing thing for this series. Uh, it could be done very well. And again, in the hands of the people behind Ready or Not, I have high expectations for this film. Ready or Not was not some bombshell, absolutely spectacular film or anything by, like that. But for what it was, these are the right people who I feel could do a Scream 5 that lives up to Wes Craven's legacy. It's very going to be very respectful of what came before it. And just to know that they, that pretty much everyone involved with it is a big fan of Wes Craven. 
they cite him for reasoning as to why they got involved with filmmaking most of them are fans of the scream series itself so i'm just very excited and looking forward to what they all have to offer here and i'm really looking forward to find out what this story is because we still don't have any clear understanding as to what the actual story is outside of us knowing that a young woman is going to be going to be returning to her hometown to investigate a series of vicious crimes but yeah i would like to see kirby's parents be our opening kill i would like to see gail weathers be our opening kill and again the shots and how they all do that flopping back in between two different locations that can be done in a way that is going to be just very iconic it can be one of the best openings to a screen screen film that we ever gotten if they all do it right uh and then again us having three killers for the first time i've i've seen multiple people talking about this idea online so i feel like if we actually end up getting that that's going to be something that a lot of people are going to be for first time ever us getting three killers and not just having the typical two or having one killer but now we have three uh, the motive for these three killers hopefully is something that's very enriching and inventive kevin williamson has gone on record saying that uh the script for the for the screen five that he's executive producing this new screen film we're about to get it's inventive and it lives up to the legacy of what's craven and it pays respect to him so i'm very excited to see what we end up getting uh but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below would you be on board with uh one of the main three being our opening kill would you be on board with us having three ghost face killers if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i'll have links to my social media accounts on my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video